Hi, ACDA. Welcome to this SSAA reading session. I'm Erin Plisko. I'm your SSAA Repertoire and Resource Chair, and I am also the Associate Director of Choral Studies at Missouri State University in Springfield, Missouri. We have a lot of great music lined up for you today. Uh, so I want to dive right in. Before we do that, I do want to say that most of the repertoire in this session is going to be geared more towards SSA and SSAA literature with more Divisi. Uh, since we do have several other r, &R areas that will have the, the um, unison and two-part and some more three-part repertoire available. If at any time you have any questions or comments or you just want to chat about rep, please feel free to email me directly. I'm always happy to take questions uh, or just talk about literature. I'm going to keep my comments to a minimum so we spend as much time as possible on the music. So without further ado, our first piece is Andrea Ramsey, They May Tell You, for SSAA Unaccompanied Choir. I encourage you to read the composer's note on the inside cover of the piece. She gives some great background on the text, and she also provides some great uh, performance suggestions. And they Next up is an exciting new piece by Elaine Hagenberg entitled By Night. If you were at Southern ACDA last year, you would have heard the premiere performance of this piece by the University of Kentucky Women's Choir. Uh, it's very exciting. It's scored for SSAA chorus and piano with optional violin, cello, and percussion.
Next up is a piece by Dr. Jace Saplan entitled Ayala O Pele i Hawaii for SSAA with Ipu. Uh, I encourage you to read the composer's note on the inside cover. It includes some uh, great background on this traditional Hawaiian chant, along with a translation and a pronunciation guide.
Next up is The Sun Never Says by Dan Forrest. This is an SSAA arrangement from a larger SATB work of his entitled Luke's The Dawn From On High. This is the third movement and was also recorded in the SATB version by Vojasate in 2019. we have a piece by Zenaida Robles entitled She Lingers On. This piece is scored for SSA Voices and Piano and deals with the subjects of depression and anxiety in a really meaningful way.
We move on to a piece by Susan Labar entitled We Remember Them for SSAA and Piano. Originally composed for SATB Choir, this transcription works really well and is a beautiful and moving text. <laughs> Next up is Fecit Potentiam from Nicola Porpora's Magnificat, edited by Christina McMillan. <laughs> Thank you. 
next up is In Her Image by Canadian composer Katarina Gimmon for SSAA Unaccompanied Choir with Devisi. I encourage you to read the note from both the poet and the composer on the inside cover of this piece. We move on to Stardust by B.E. Boykin for SSA Choir, Piano, and Djembe. Please do read the note from the composer as this piece is meant to stir a call for justice for the people of color taken from this world before their time and without concern for their humanity.
Have Hyowon Woo's exciting arrangement of the popular Korean folk song Arirang for SSAA piano and optional percussion. Please note that the recording that I'm going to play is of the SATB version. Uh, this is also available in SATB Voicing and TTBB. <laughs>
Next up is O Salutaris Ostia by Hyun Kuk. This is a beautiful and accessible setting of a popular Latin text for SSA voices and piano. We move on to Ikan Kekek by Yu Hang Tan for SSA with Descant Piano and Body Percussion. Please do read the inside cover as it contains a pronunciation guide and a translation along with information on the Southeast Asian folk song and some performance suggestions from the composer.
Next up is Marie Madeleine by Jeanette Gallant. This is an arrangement of an Acadian folk song, and I encourage you to read the inside cover, which has both a translation and some interesting background on this folk song. for this session is by Finnish composer Anna Mari Kahera. It is entitled Kuka Nuku Tutusasi for a mostly three part voices unaccompanied. Hi. Thank you again for joining me today. I am hopeful that you found something new that you can use with your students in your classroom and with your choirs. Again, if you have any questions or would just like to reach out and chat about literature, uh, please feel free to email me. I'm always happy to talk about music. Thanks again for joining. Bye. <laughs>